Let's look at a bad crossfire setup. So I have two of these um, Radeon HD 2400 Pros. These are not good graphics cards. These are from I think 2007 and were pretty low end when they came out as well. But you know what? I think they technically support Crossfire, so let's try that. Um, well, about the technically support. So I've yet to see anyone do it online and it's hard to find good documentation about these, but in a few reviews they said they had Crossfire support. So I'm gonna trust those reviews and see that it is. So I have two of them. Looking at the card, we can tell it's all bus power, there's no other things. There's no actual crossfire bridges, but you shouldn't need that to do crossfire. I know other cards don't have those bridges and supported crossfire just fine um, of that era. Um, single small fan that is ridiculously loud on these. And they have the fun video connectors on it, which is a DMS-59, I'm pretty sure. So it lets you run two VGA or two DVI outputs. And a S-video out. So... I have an adapter to VGA for that, but that's an annoying connector. And they're identical. Um, so first thing I tried was running it on this system, which was running Windows 10 and a EVGA 780i board. Didn't work. Said it was a disabled adapter. So let's try it again on this system. So this is a 2600K system with a Asus Maximus 9 Extreme Z, I think. So, we're gonna give it better hope. Um, I know NVIDIA, from what I've heard, the NVIDIA chipsets did not like working with Crossfire, apparently. That's a bit iffy. So, we're gonna see if it works now. Let's just try a single card and make sure the Windows 10 installation and drivers are working correctly first. So, I had these cards working fine on Windows 10 with full AMD Catalyst Control Center on my older um, 780i board. But now, on that system, I've tried a couple installs, I did a fresh install and just installed drivers, and I get the error and it won't install right. So that's annoying. Um, there is no official drivers for Windows 10 for this card, but there are drivers for Windows 8.1 that work fine that I was using. So I guess we'll try Windows 7 as it is officially supported and might work better. After my fair share of driver installation, we have Catalyst Control Center running on Windows 7. So that's fine, and error works, so that means it's doing something. Let's talk a little bit about a little bit of software trouble and seeing how it works. First of all, so while it is a working card now, that's Unigen Heaven running at a lovely, I don't know, probably 5 FPS, maybe 3. Um, it does work, but there's a few issues I ran into. First of all, nothing seems to support overclocking it. I'd love to, but... I. MSI Afterburner just, it's already maxed out, and I tried a few other programs like the Asus one and the Sapphire one, and both of them just had issues. And I was like, and AMD doesn't have the overdrive in their control center, so I was like, you know what, I give up. I don't think there's a practical way to overclock these in Windows 7 of my configuration, so I'm done. Next thing, so I got MSI Afterburner and read a little bit of an overlay. So we're going to do a before and after with and without Crossfire and Unit in Heaven as a Eh, maybe it's a reasonably good case scenario. So right now, one GP is being maxed out, and one's not being used at all. Um, also, another thing, these are loud cards. There might be a way to control fan speed, but these were designed for, I think, like, business desktops. There better be a way to control it, because these are loud and moving quite a bit of air. And even the one that's maxed out is only at 57C. So you could easily add in worst case airflow and hotter ambient temperatures, and it'll be fine. Um, you can probably wrap it down. The one that's not running is only pulling 45C. So yeah, these older cards did not idle as well as the new ones do. So well, uh, first thing to look at is, wow, usage is actually somewhat balanced. So they're both sitting at 99-ish percent. The second GPU is dipping down to like 95, 93 percent. That's not bad. And yeah, both running at the same clock. Uh, it seems to be reporting memory usage incorrectly on the second GPU. But it must be using it because it's rendering stuff. So can't really tell if it's smoother. So let's run some benchmarks and see if it actually helps. I got a whole lot of just weird driver issues and stuff when I was trying to run benchmarks. So first of all, the benchmarks I got to run was Unigen Tropics, which is a very old version of Heaven. I guess the kind of predecessor to Heaven. I got the um, two motor benchmark to run fine. And then I just did some basic testing in um, Sniper Elite V2, all of which supported Crossfire. Here's the graphs on screen for the performance. Uh, 
Yeah, they can't really talk about things like micro stuttering and stuff because all of them frame rate was too low. The problem with this card is, first of all, software support's not good. So a lot of games that I wanted to test that would actually run reasonably, like TF2, just don't support Crossfire on this config. And the next thing is, it just had weird bugs all the time. I'd have, I was trying to run 3D mark on it, and I tried like 01, 03, 05, and like Vantage, all of which crashed or had some weird issue. So there's something that I didn't like about that. There's just a lot of weird things. Surprisingly, the scaling was reasonable when it was working. I was surprised some games almost got a almost full scaling, which I didn't see coming, but that's not bad. Uh, yeah, this is kind of the conclusion I thought. I was actually surprised how well scaling works, but other than that, it's a lot of don't really use these cards for anything. They're not practical and for gaming. The problem is they're just too slow to be useful these days. So thanks for watching this little experiment with some old graphics cards and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.